illustrations for books are not the choice of the author. They are almost entirely the choice of the publisher. And in the 60s and 70s, when most of these books were published, uh, the publishers would commission artists from their stable of um, artists. Think like of the motion picture industry. You have uh, Gary Cooper in your, in your under contract. You're going to use him as much as possible, whether the role is correct or incorrect for him. Catherine Hepburn, she, she'll play everything from you know, an English spinster to uh, Philadelphia aristocrat. She's under contract to MGM. So um, these artists were um, selected, given the book to read. Um, sometimes, according to the few editors who still are around from the 60s and 70s, they were asked did they want to meet with the author and absolutely refused to do so. Um, of the 17 artists who we have in the show, there are five living artists. Each of those five living artists was asked, and did you make an effort to meet with Mr. Singer? And um, to be quite blunt, the, the kindest answer I can get, give you almost verbatim is, I don't need anybody to tell me what color the heroine's hair is supposed to be. Uh, so no, the illustrators were definitely independent people. They read the book and they gave you an interpretation. I would posit to you the same thing, that if any three of us were having a conversation about the same Isaac Bechet the singer story or novel, we would depict the character differently. He would be shorter or taller, fatter or thinner, bald or curly hair, a real hunk or a real schlub. And that's really an interpretive um, aspect of an artist. The artists that did the most books for Singer were his great friend Ira Moskowitz and his great friend Raphael Sawyer. They did um, works based on Singer's stories that were not necessarily for publication. They were just inspired to do so. Um, Moskowitz has perhaps 300 drawings that were sometimes preparatory drawings that were used for the several books, uh, but mostly his responsa through his artistic sensibilities to what he was reading. Uh, Sawyer, Sawyer was the same age that Singer was, and Sawyer came from the same background, came to the United States as a basically an older teenager in his teenage years and had the same experiences of trying to meet girls, trying to get a job, trying to learn English, um, and competing also with two other siblings. This is important when you think about Singer. Singer's uh, brothers were uh, amazingly talented people. His older brother, who was an editor at the Forwards, um, which is how Singer got his toe in the door so early in his career, uh, is the author of the Brothers uh, Ashkenazi, at this festival. And uh, his sister uh, was a renowned writer in her day, her day being the um, 1930s, 40s, 50s, when Jewish women writer were writers were hardly the acclaimed women that they should have been and are now. So let me go through some of the uh, artists with you. And um, first, we have a portrait of Singer from life, not from a photograph, uh, by Anne Barry, who is the wife of Ira Moskowitz, and spent a great deal of time. And if you noticed in the show at the very beginning, there are photographs. Those come from they're uh, the Moskowitz uh, Barry family photograph album of, uh, of um, an evening, a gallery opening in New York with Singer, with um, Sawyer, with Moskowitz. Um, it was the 
um, pulling of prints at the, at the uh, printer.